Uh, the other day, I was at my work, and uh, my boss said, I love you all like my family. That being said, I appreciate each and every one of you. <laughs> you can see where I was a little confused. Normally, one does not use the phrase, that being said, to simply agree with oneself. <laughs> I like a good banana, that being said, I like a good banana. I like Tom Cruise in movies, that being said, I think he's a great guy. I feel like there should be a bigger laugh at that joke, that being said, I feel like it should happen. I don't know. But then, then I got excited because I realized that she thought that that being said signified more awesome things to come. <laughs> so that meant that at our next meeting she was going to say, I appreciate each and every one of you. That being said, you're all getting bonuses! Right? Yeah. That being said, you're getting paid in cocaine! evaluation it said that I was too tall and too loud. <laughs> and uh, apart from that being illegal, <laughs> I just, I was dumbfounded because I realized, you know, up here it's all just planes. I didn't realize that down there you could hear me so well. <laughs> I like being in charge. I, uh, I like to win. I like to win. I am a Muslim feminist Iranian American comedian. Thank you, one woohoo. <laughs> the only real San Franciscan amongst every one of you. What happened, San Francisco? We clap for diversity! <laughs> I, I, I know what you're thinking, uh, Muslims, we're a lot like bees. We're more afraid of you than you are. Uh, I get a lot of PhD students asking me questions all the time, like, uh, you're Muslim, but you're feminist, but you're Muslim. <laughs> But you're American, but you're Muslim, and you're Iranian. Especially. What is that? <laughs> they don't know. They don't know because the Iranians are smart. When Iran had its problems, we just changed the name. We're Persian. <laughs> it's easy. People would say, what the hell's going on in Iran? I don't know, I am a Persian. <laughs> it's so crazy. It's like, I don't know what is happening over there. <laughs> I have a tea. Do you like to party? I like to dance. I don't know if you like to do that. <laughs> we have one Persian! We have one Persian! <laughs> Yay, diversity! Yay! <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. 
I, uh, I told you, I'm here to win. I, um, <laughs> I'm not really here to make change. I just want to take over. A lot of Muslim comedians, they like to educate, build bridges, just really actually want to take your jobs, <laughs> fuck your husband, <laughs> breed the youth of the next generation, and indoctrinate them. Is that awkward? <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> I, I, I am always surprised by this, like, you know, they're here to take our jobs. Yeah, actually. <laughs> I mean, what is this running commentary in the front? <laughs> I had to leave my, it was like a ta I have 10 minutes. What do you want to have a conversation? Let's have a conversation. What's your name? Paul. Hi, Paul. I saw you earlier. Yeah. You had your stage time, Paul. What happened? I'm sorry. You had your stage time, Paul. What happened? <laughs> you yeah, enjoy the fucking board. <laughs> this is, I love this because this is extrovert. We like people. We like people, we like to be on stage. And then there's introvert. Right? Introvert plus introvert equals passive aggressive. <laughs> <laughs> Extrovert plus introvert equals passive aggressive. <laughs> but extrovert and extrovert just equals fun. <laughs> right, Paul? <laughs> Right. Uh, I have no idea how much time I have. Where am I at? 20 minutes. <laughs> Come on up, Paul! Uh, can I actually let, let extroverts, we all know that we're better, right? Thank you. Yeah, it's true. No, here's what. Here is my beef. Here is my beef. Everybody feels oppressed by the extroverts. But really, there are always more introverts around. You're just fucking quiet. <laughs> you don't share. You don't share, and if you're upset, I'm not going to find out about it now. You're going to go home, and you're going to talk about it with your friend, and you're going to journal about it, and maybe have a dream about it, and you're going to process it, and then three months later, you're going to leave me a note on my fucking kitchen door. <laughs> and I'm still not going to do the dishes. <laughs> Party, and then I'm gonna take white people's jobs. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what else did I want to talk about? I, Muslims, I'm very happy with Muslims right now. I feel like we're doing very well. Uh, they say that there's no such thing as bad PR. <laughs> so we're pretty much on top. It doesn't really get more famous than Muslim famous. Right? I mean, I'm just saying, like, there's Madonna, and then there's Muslim Madonna. <laughs> you know, there'd be Lady Gaga, and then there's Muslim Lady Gaga. <laughs> like, Lindsay Lohan would do better to be a little more Muslim, you know what I mean? <laughs> She'd have a better time. And sometimes I get so saturated by it, I just want to change the name. I just want to change the name, you know what I mean? And just say, from now on, I am not a Muslim. I'm the same person, I believe in the same stuff, but now, I would like to be called a Baba Ganoush. <laughs> and the political pundits will have to say Baba Ganoush phobia. Today, there was an incident of Baba Ganoush phobia. Baba Ganoush phobia. Yes, Baba Ganoush phobia. What are you talking about? That's delicious. It's got eggplant and paprika. I get another food truck. I know. I don't understand it. They seem like a wonderful people. I love their food. Food trucks solve racism. I can't. I don't understand why I can't figure this out. <laughs> racism had taco I can hold in my hand, it would be over. <laughs> we would solve it. We would take care of it. No? Too much? <laughs> too much white guilt in the room. <laughs> oh, 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 it's okay, Andrew, it's just write me about it later. I'll wait. I'll wait for you, like three months, four months, whatever it is. <laughs> Tell me how you feel. I, uh, I am Persian. I like to party, I like to dance, I like to rock. That's what I do. Uh, people ask me all the time, what's the difference between a Persian and an Iranian? What's the difference? What is with that? Why is there two? Why is there two? Why do you say Persian and Iranian? Just pick one! 
I'm just one thing. I'm just an asshole. <laughs> so I'm going to explain it to you right now. I'm going to break it down. Persians. Persian is more like a connection to a cultural identity. Right? One Persian? It's more... <laughs> You're just giving me the authority. Persians. Is more a connection to your cultural identity, music and song, and you know, and Persians usually are like, um, the traditional guard is diesel. <laughs> <laughs> and they're usually like, hey baby, do you like to dance? You like to party? This is my brother shoes, baby, what's going on? <laughs> and Iranians, Iranians are more like a national heritage, just political, and Iranians, the traditional garb, is diesel, and Iranians are like, hey, baby. <laughs> you like to dance? You like to party? This is my diesel glasses, baby, what's going on? <laughs> and that's the difference between Persian and Iranian. Thank you. <laughs> I like to say Iranians, people get scared by this. I don't know, I like, uh, I recommend this. I like sitting in the front row of nuclear physics classes. <laughs> Excuse me, professor? Um, this plutonium. <laughs> Can we find that on like the Craigslist? <laughs> Excuse me, professor. Um, do you like to dance? <laughs> do you like to party? <laughs> if you guys like to party, I'm gonna be performing at the Lit Tees uh, fundraiser this Friday. It's a fundraiser for Lit Quake. Come, I will be the MC. It will be funny, and if it's not, just fake it, just fake it, just fake it and have a great time. <laughs> and I'll see you guys.